My kids and I would definitely like to have some time machine and to, you know, some magic stick to make this all never happen and to go back home. My kids are definitely homesick. Me too. We miss, first of all, our family members. My mom and dad, so their grandmom and granddad are in Ukraine. Being a single mom of two kids, I realized that taking my kids back there would be too dangerous for them. So I made a very, very hard decision to stay. We thought it was just a day or two, maybe a week, and everything would go back to normal. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. At some point, I thought I had to do something, anything, to help. If I couldn't help over there in Ukraine, I had to help somewhere. Так, кто первый? Давайте, а, давайте. Да. Хлопчики, девчатка, швидше, швидше. Вот это будет у нас импровизован. Мы тут все, аудитория тут. Не забываем потом аплодувати. Потом будем решать, в кого лучше вдалась презентация. Голосовать будем. Трошки ближе сюда. Все, слушаем. Перекладайте, выбираем серденько, толстенький переклад, чтобы швидше разогрелись. The most important for them academically is to get acquainted and to learn the work of this writer. Emotionally, it's very good for them to role play because they get distracted from what's going on and they start living in that moment. And this is a comedy. Чорними постояли, а родом здесь. А хіба ж я родий? То тільки собак дражні ці родими. Some remote learning is available for the students right now. This remote learning, of course, is uh, not uh, sufficient because the teacher might start the lesson and then five minutes later announce that there is a siren and she needs to go or he needs to go to a bomb shelter and the lesson is over for the rest of the day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Tak, chlopčiky, děvčátka, chlopčiky, bude to ještě jiné. Budu láska, komu potřebno bere. No, budeme se mluvit. Budeme na lavič pozvaný na pyši. Zvyšujeme se. Měl jsem Tak, ty Tak. That's amazing that the Hungarian schools are ready to open their doors for Ukrainian children. It's just that for high schoolers that is definitely not an option because they are almost graduating, they are ready for their exit exams. They need definitely education in their own language. For middle schoolers and, and primary school children, that will be just another trauma of not speaking the language, of not understanding what's going on. It would take them months and months to integrate into the system. We felt if we had the space, we would use uh, the expertise that were here, the Ukrainian teachers that had moved here, and try and match that up and just provide the space so that children could move back into their home language as quickly as possible and continue their learning. These children have not chosen this. They deserve their education, they deserve their childhood. We should be doing everything we can. I'm going to hold the microphone here and I'm going to listen really deeply and you're going to share the word of how you're feeling. Comfort. Flabbergast. Comfort. Papachika. <laughs> Masha and Julia, here's some questions and okay. see what you think. Um, and I will ask it. No, you're gonna no. sit and you're gonna no. you're gonna be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just to watch, just, just I? Yeah. Okay. 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 We came uh, from Kharkiv and uh, we spent uh, the first night in uh, Chernivtsi, the city in Ukraine, and then I go abroad and uh, now I stay here. I cried a lot because there was the worst day in my life, I think, because I don't know what will be with my dad. I don't know what should I do. My mom didn't know what, didn't know what should she do and uh, we say him goodbye. In 25th of February I saw that I will cross a board with my mom but she couldn't because she works in government and uh, she needs to help, uh, she need to be like volunteer and help uh, to Ukrainians that uh, run from war. So um, I needed to cross uh, abroad alone. He said, like, uh, you must be strong, you must help your mom because uh, it's so hard to her. Now uh, I will be okay and you will be okay. We'll meet as soon as we can and just believe in you. Live your life like you want. Like, be strong. I say goodbye to my grandparents. I don't cry. Uh, I uh, tried to not to cry because um, it was 
a strange moment in our in our life and uh, i understand it that if i uh, if i will cry my grandparents will cry too and it it will be so stressed for 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 them but uh, when i say goodbye to my mom i cried a lot because she to told to me that uh, if it can be our uh, last meeting would you like to share some of yeah, the cell sure. phone images that you took yeah. and what that was like to film those for yourself mm -hmm. and what was going on what was going on in your body what what kind of sensations you had when that happened I saw it by myself by my eyes and uh, it's really scary and uh, it's really dangerous and frightened and I think I thought that it's impossible but now it's real it's the awful sound in my life it's really scary and uh, I never wanted it to so come back and I again uh, listen to this sound The children definitely miss their friends, miss communication. Communication for them means now uh, their psychological health. The possibility to speak their own language with Ukrainians, with people from their own country. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> I really want to study in my school like it was before, but I know that maybe it won't be so. I felt alive because I, I didn't spoke with Ukrainians here in Hungary and uh, I, need, I needed to have a friends here, so now I'll have it. I think I changed a lot because I grew up and uh, I started to appreciate all the moments in my life. I appreciate every day when I with my friends, with my family, with my mother and uh, I really hope that as soon as possible I will be meet with my father. I'm smiling and laughing not because it's funny. <laughs> Uh, it's only because it's hard to it's hard to like feel this one more time because when you talk when you tell this to someone you feel this one more and more and more times so it's easier to laugh than to cry Okay let me just show you the offer. Right. You and the boys 60 minutes in the 
Це буде українська школа і документи державного зразка українські. Українські, От таким чином. не так. венгерські? Ні, не угорські. Це українська школа з українськими документами а буде. А наприклад, далі десь? Ну, в Україні. Ну, якби ви в, Украї... в будь-якій українській школі. For me, it's not the 1st of June now, it's the 24th of February at the moment. We will continue as long as the children need it. Once the Ukrainian refugee children are ready to return, we will happily close this program and announce our job done and go back to rebuilding the country.